She probably want to relax her too, but she just, she just don't want to do it. Whatever. Look, I'm trying to bring as many over to the dark side as I can. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. But like, if you want to relax your hair, I honestly feel like you should do whatever you want to do. You shouldn't be thinking about like, oh, what are other people going to think? But let's just get into the myths, okay? I don't even know if this is considered a myth. This is just a lie, a flat out lie that people say all the time. If you relax your hair, you want to be white. I love being black. Let me just first and foremost say that. I'm not trying to be white because I want to relax my hair. And I don't think that everyone who relaxes their hair just has this deep underlying feeling in their heart and soul that they want to be white. I don't think that's the case. Although relaxed hair looks a certain way, it is very low maintenance to me. Um, it doesn't require nearly as many products. It doesn't require nearly as much of my time. And that's why I like wearing my hair relaxed. I also have just always preferred to wear my hair straight. I like the look of it. The next myth is if you relax your hair, your hair is automatically just gonna be broken and super brittle. That's not true. Your hair can get broken and super brittle really easily with relaxed hair. You just need to know how to take care of it. Number one thing you need to be doing is clipping your ends regularly, um, finding, smoothing, detangling products for your hair. I've seen people out and I can tell from a mile away, her hair is relaxed and she doesn't know how to take care of it. And don't be holding on to length just because like, oh, my hair is down here, it's bra strap length. Girl, your hair is fried. Okay, so the next myth that I hear a lot is that once you relax your hair, it's just not really gonna grow. It's just always gonna be breaking off. It's just not gonna grow. That's not true. It's called new growth for a reason. Your hair is always gonna grow from this root. The issue is when it comes to retaining the length on the ends because the ends of your hair is what can get broken and break off. Your hair is always going to grow from the root though. That's why like you'll be like, oh, it's time for me to touch up my relaxer because that puffy kinky hair that's at the root is new hair. If you just can't retain any hair down here, then you need to be looking at how you're maintaining your hair and how you're caring for it. Okay, so this is for my relaxed girlies that are like diehard relaxed girls, relaxing every four to six weeks. Excuse me, what? No, 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 that's one thing I will say. You trying to fry and die lay to the side that hair like you don't need to be relaxing every four to six weeks if you can straighten your hair still and it still lays down how you like it and how you want it to look then go on about your business girl i understand if you go to a salon like there are they are sometimes recommending that you relax your hair every four to six weeks sometimes though stylists aren't necessarily telling you what's right they're telling you what's right if you know what I mean. Because you know when you go get your hair relaxed at the salon, that visit is a lot more expensive than if you're just getting like a wash and blow dry or whatever, you know? I relax my hair once at the start of fall and I might relax it again like come January, February. But I don't relax my hair that much. I relax it one time and if I notice that like my hair is just like really, really not laying how I like it to, then I will maybe think about touching up my relaxer. But I try to stretch my relaxers as long as I possibly can. And I would suggest that for you too, if you are really just seeing that your hair is not as healthy as you would like it to be, try to stretch out the amount of time in between you relaxing your hair because that could be something that's causing your hair to break off more. This last myth, your hair will never be healthy with a relaxer. I, I'm kind of like on the edge with this one. I get what people are saying when they say this. Because we're relaxing our hair and, well at least me, myself, I know when I relax my hair, I'm breaking down my hair and I'm causing a certain amount of damage to my hair like off rip just by relaxing it. I get that. But I personally feel like the same way people can color their hair or bleach their hair, I feel like the same applies to relaxers. You can still have healthy-ish hair with a relaxer. 
it's just all about how you upkeep. That's like the whole theme of this video. Like it's all about upkeep and how you maintain your hair. It's just really, really product driven. Um, and you have to find products that are multi functional. I feel like but I'm going to have a video up on my favorite, favorite products for relaxed hair. So make sure you keep your eyes out for that. If it's not already up, if it is, I'll link it down below for anyone that is on the fence about relaxing your hair. My number one tip is always just do what you want and what works for you within reason. And at the end of the day, that's your hair on your head and nobody else has to deal with it except for you. She probably wanna relax her too, but she just, she just don't wanna do it. I hope this was super helpful for you guys. Please, please, please leave a comment down below. Let me know if there's anything else that you would like me to talk about when it comes to relaxers or just hair care in general. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.